It, we may find this ugly. We may find this confusing. However, we'll be a little bit like the match statement, a little bit like the name it arguments. It gets confusing on the first look, but then it will become simpler. I can promise you that. So the pipe operator is coming to PHP 8.0. Dot five. Let's read this article and try to understand if this actually makes anything or something more simple. Let me see. So PHP 8.5 is set to introduce a new operator call it the pipe operator, which looks like this, okay? Looks like this, chat. And then the pipe operator allows you to pass the result of one expression as an argument to another expression, making your code cleaner and more readable. So today, he is talking literally about PHP 8.4, the current version. If you wanna pass a result of one function to another, you have to do like this. Basically, I have a value which contains hello world and I want to provide that value to the function three and then I want to provide that result to the function two and then I will provide that result to the function one to have a final result, okay? So obviously this is hard to read uh, immediately. I would use temporary variables, which I think is what's happening just below. This can quickly become hard to read, especially with multiple nested functions, indeed. Or you can simplify this code and you can use variables to store the intermediary results like so. Value equals to hello world, and then I have result one, which is the result of the function three, and then I will pipe that same result one to the function number two, and finally I will pipe the result of the function two to the function number one to have the final result. And is following this with, this is still not elegant. I personally think that this is actually okay, but let's see uh, which what the new pipe operator is actually bringing, okay? So this is actually not elegant and it can make your code uh, cluttered and hard to follow it. So for PHP 8.5, they are introducing the pipe operator. Let's go all the way down and understand this. PHP 8.5 will introduce the pipe operator, which looks like this, <coughs> which will allow you to write code in a point free style that limits the use of unnecessary intermediary variables. So the code above, which looked like this, will now look or can be rewritten like so. Let's try to understand it. The value is equally hello world, and we are literally piping that value to the function three, and then piping that same result to the function two, and then piping to the function one, the result of function two. Chat, this is undeniably more simple to read. What do you think, Chat? I personally think this is much nicer than this, for sure, and way much nicer than this, for sure. Uh, what do you think, Chat? I think this is actually a good addition to PHP, although, although, uh, with Laravel collections and everything that Laravel collections offers, I don't see a lot, I don't, I don't, I don't see myself a lot using the pipe operator because I typically don't have to chain uh, functions like so. But what do you think? Murai is saying, I do hate this example. They should show something real. I do agree with you. By the way, this is not, this is not a official PHP website. It's literally the first article I found on the internet. Uh, Flor is asking, what is the use case of this? Again, is literally the fact that you might want to pipe a value between multiple functions. It's the same use case you would find with, with you would find with Laravel pipeline. <laughs> it's readable, but I think you can change the operator to be more pretty. Which operator would you... Anyway, let's go all the way down and see a real world example. Chat, we do have a real world example. Here is a real world example from the RFC that shows how can you use the pipe operator to transform a string into snake case. So this is something that actually, I may actually do this, okay? literally create a slug out of a name. I literally have this need all the time. I'm gonna be honest with you, to create a slug, I would just use the Laravel slug helper, okay? However, to something like Pokio or something that I need to develop as a native library, which doesn't have any dependencies, I would actually rely on PHP function, okay, chat? I would actually rely on PHP function. So let's see this example, okay? So we have the full name, which is Fred Flintstone, and we are going to pipe that same full name to this closure. The closure accepts only one argument, which is the full name. If I want to pipe the full name to the given closure, I need to literally provide the closure with just one argument, which is the case. 
Okay, so then I'm going to give that full name to the function explode and kind of explode that into an array separated by an empty space. So once I do that, I will end up with an array of words. I will, equal, I will actually end up with an array with the first element being Fred, the second one being Flint Stone. And then I'm going to chain that same array into this another short closure. Okay, so at this point here, I have an array. This array, I will implode that same array into um, a string separated by this small uh, underscore. So I will join this, okay? And finally, at this point here, the result should be a regular string separated by this underscore. And the last thing I will do is string lower that same string. So we are going to pipe that value as the first argument to string to lower. And this will lowercase. What do you think, Shad? I think this is one of those syntax that we may find this ugly, we may find this confusing. However, will be a little bit like the match statement, a little bit like the name it arguments. It gets confusing on the first look, but then it will become simpler. I can promise you that. So I know you guys are looking into this and the first thing you guys think, this is worse, this is more confusing, I don't get shit about this, this is your first reaction. But I can tell you as well that typically we also think that when we see other features in PHP. Do you guys remember? The match statement looked ugly. Enums looked ugly. Uh, attributes looked ugly. And now we love all of this syntax. So I think with the pipe operator, it might, it might be like that for some of you. But over time, people are going to love this. <sighs> Ooh. The selection of the pipe operator is syntax. So apparently on this small section, we are going to see why people came up with this syntax or at least with this set of characters for the pipe operator. It looks like PHP is inspired by F sharp programming language and the Elixir programming language when it comes to the pipe operator. So some of you are asking if this stuff exists on other languages and apparently the pipe operator is used in both languages to pass the result of one function to another function in the same way as it is in PHP. In its current form, you might find the pint operator a little bit weird, indeed, but fonts like JetBrains Mono with ligatures can make the pipe operator a pleasing to look at. Well, undeniably, this small triangle here make it, makes make this a little bit uh, nicer. So I do think this example as well could be way more simplified if he have used the triple points here um, to simplify this example, but not bad. In conclusion, although the RFC for the pipe operator is still under voting phase, at the time of writing this article is expected to be accepted. Ooh, we do have the link to the RFC. So the author apparently is Larry Garfield, uh, which is the author of many uh, PHP RFCs, including I have worked with Larry for the RFC that adds multi-line short closures that end up being rejected. And we do see a few more examples of this pipe operator. Let's see the votes though. I'm gonna go all the way down. By the way, Shet, every time you see a PHP RFC, it will look like this, okay? So all the way up, you have the proposal, blah, 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 blah. And then you scroll all the way down to see the actual result of people. <gasps> Ooh, there is a few no's actually. So that is 37 votes and seven people voted no. And we do need two out of three to actually have uh, this pipe operator to pass. Do you want the link? Here we go, Shep. I'm going to give you a link. Yeah, it's good so far, but I think there is more people to vote. So <laughs> Canada is asking, can I vote too? I don't think you can, dude. It's literally just people from the internal. Honestly, I, you know, I think this is a very good addition in general. I don't see anything that um, is a red flag. Looks a good feature, honestly. If it just works, I think it's a great feature. All right, dudes. This is the Python operator. Great addition to PHP 8.7.